Are you ready to roll the dice? Thank you for coming to my channel. Today, I'm gonna play a practice match against Hideaki Ueda in Osaka, Japan. Even though this is practice, we played very seriously. That's why I haven't talked while I was playing. Now I'm talking after the match with checking the analysis. This is match 7. The score is 0 0, of course. Now, let's get started. The bottom side is Michi, and the top side is Hideaki Ueda. So I started with 5 2. Of course, I chose split and down. This is a basic in backgammon. Often, I prefer uh, two men down, but I know XG doesn't like it. That's why I, I just chose a common play. Now, Hideaki replied with 5 1. So he has no good options. Yeah, again, split and down must be correct. And then, wow, I rolled double six. This is not easy. This is not easy. So I have three good options. One is running my back checker from the 22 point to the 16, sorry, uh, not 16, 10 point, and uh, making the bar point. Also, uh, pointing on the two point is a good option. So I have three good options, but uh, of course, I only uh, play four times double six. So that's why I chose two of them, which is uh, correct according to XG. And Hideaki replied with 6 1. So he has to come in with a 1, and he's wondering how to play a 6. He has on, uh, Actually, he has only two good options 13 7 or 8 to 2. So which is better? Of course, 13 7 gives me many uh, shots, uh, but 8 to 2 uh, gives me only 11 shots. However, because uh, red is ahead in the race, 13 7 is a little bit better, and I doubled. Oh, I thought it's a good double, but uh, XG said it's a little bit earlier, and of course Hideaki didn't he hesitate to take it. Now I was free one, so of course I can hit on the 23 point, or I can make the 21 point anchor. But finally I chose to make the my make my five point against the glued back checker. The five point is so strong. Now Hideaki replied with six three. This is easy. Just covering the two point and attack on the three point. Now, what I roll, okay, 1-4 came out, so I cannot hit him, so what do I do, what do I do, yeah, I think I have to come in with a 4, and should I hide my blood on the 8 point or a 6-5, to five? okay, I chose this. I chose 6-5, to five, and which is a, a slightly better, now Hideaki replied with 4-2, so he's very happy to pointing on the 4 point, this is obvious. Now what I roll, okay, 3-2 has come, it's a pretty good dice, I'm very happy to hit and make the butterfly anchor, butterfly anchor is another name of the 3 point anchor, 6-3, this is not his best, so first he comes in, then he hides a blood, no, 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 this is not a good idea, especially when he's behind in the race. So he just uh, yeah came out. Okay, my double six is a, a fantastic dice. I just uh, uh, running my back checkers. Now, okay, he has to reroll. What comes? Five six. Okay. Yeah, nothing special. Nothing special. So he can slot on his five point, or he can bring in down checker from the midpoint, probably it's not a big deal, oh, sorry, and then what I roll, okay, my dice is 6-4, this is pretty easy, I'm very happy to make my 4 point, then Hideaki's dice is 5-2, alright, so let's slot on the 5 point and bringing the, the builder from the midpoint, now I roll 6-3, so there is no speciality. I just play two men down. Now I successfully cleared my midpoint. My next goal is filling my three point. Okay, two one. So of course he covers his five point. There is no problem at all. And my dice is four 
two. Okay. I'm very happy to fill the three point. Now I complete the full prime. And Hideaki's dice is this is three something? Actually, this is three one. This is three one. Okay, so he, he diversifies his builders in the outfield. And my dice is 4-3. Actually, uh, at this moment, we change the rule. And uh, uh, dice on checker is valid. And of course, I, uh, I was happy to clear my uh, bar point. It's not necessary to keep my bar point. And Hideaki wrote double 5. Now, he has, a, he has the best possible 5 point board. 6-2. Okay, now I gave him an indirect shot. So only 6 1, but uh, of course I was afraid of that. 6 2. Alright, so he, he couldn't hit. Oh, wait a minute. So here, uh, Mr. Tanaka is transcribing the match. Uh, but uh, there's some, some problem. Maybe Mr. Tanaka. Uh, misunderstood uh, checking the dice number. So Hideaki is uh, fixing the problem. I think uh, Mr. Tanaka thought this is 6-1, but uh, it's a very big difference. 6-2 or 6-1 is huge. Okay, 5-1 for me. So I finished uh, bearing in and played 6-5. Six, six now I have a beautiful mountain structure. Yeah, having the uh, mountain structure against the ace-point game is pretty good. And Hideaki's dice is 3-2. Alright. Yeah, nothing special. Nothing special. He just, uh, yeah, moving his spare checkers. And my dice is 6-2. Okay, mm -hmm. now I have two options. One is uh, taking one, check, one checker off. Another is clearing my 6-point. Uh, I was thinking about uh, blocking his uh, back checkers, but uh, finally I chose to clear my 6 point and 6 3 for Hideaki. So, of course, it's almost a uh, fourth play. Now, 6 2 for me. Okay, yeah, let's take two checkers mm. off. It's no problem. Now, Hideaki has only one back checker, and uh, probably I, I'm not gonna win Gammon. So, 5 2 for Hideaki. There is no problem at all. And 3-4 for me. Okay. Let's take two checkers off. I have no other options. And Hideaki wrote 5-1. Okay. Now Hideaki has an option to run his back checker. But uh, he he stayed. Yeah. To get a shot. This is correct. Wow. Double 4 is a fantastic dice. So first I take two checkers off. Then I have two options. Okay. I chose to uh, uh, take another two checkers. Yeah, actually XG says two plays are almost equal. And 5-4 for Hideaki. Yeah, so he, he finally gave up Yeah, uh, getting a shot, of course. Uh, he doesn't want to lose Gammon. And 2-1 for me. Yeah, this is a poor dice, so I'm not gonna win Gammon. And double 4 for Hideaki. So maybe he has some chance to win the game. Yeah, this is not zero. Even though XG says this is zero, still it's possible. Now, 4-3. Okay, now it's time to resign. So I got two points. Now the score is 2-0 for me. And let's go to the next game, the second game. So 2-0, uh, because I'm, I'm now 5 away, which is uh, very uncomfortable. Uh, so often I say this is a stupid score. Okay, Hideaki started with 4-3. And this, this play is important. So if the score is 0-0, Hideaki has many options, but uh, at this score, Hideaki correctly chose to, uh, two men down, which is a Gammonish play. I replied with 3-1. This is very comfortable. Okay, then Hideaki also made a 5 point, of course. And 4-1 for me. I have an option to splitting my back checker, but uh, he has three checkers on his eight points, so that's why I I didn't choose to split him. Six one, Hideaki is building a prime. This is pretty good. I need to roll good number. Oh, this is great. This is great. 
I have option to moving my back uh, anchor to the 22 point, but I prefer to making the 4 point, which is very strong. Wow. Double 2 has come. Maybe this is the second best dice for him. He's very happy to make a two new points. Okay, let's reroll. 6 1 for me. So, what can I do? What can I do? Actually, I, I felt the game is over. Whatever I played, I cannot take his cube. So, what do I do? Yeah, one idea is uh, hiding my blood. But now I kill one checker on my two point and my two back checkers are trapped. So that's, uh, I, f I felt, yeah, running it must be better. Even though this is a double pass. Yeah, running must be better. Mm. Uh, it gives white triple shot. But in case white misses, now the game is uh, okay for red. Okay. So, yep, yeah, I chose to come out. And of course, Hideaki is doubling. This is a clear double and I didn't hesitate to drop it, but actually XG says this is a take! This is a clear take! Oh my goodness! How is that possible? Actually, I I don't understand this doubling cube yet. So I need to yeah examine it. This is very hard for me. This is very hard for me. Okay, now the score is 2-1 for red. Red is 5 away, white is 6 away. So still red red score is stupid. The 5 bar is, is stupid score. If the score is 5 bar, 5 bar, or uh, red is trading, then 5 bar is not so stupid. But uh, as long as red is ahead in the score, 5 bar is stupid. stupid. And with a 4 1, I chose a split and down. This is a common in backgammon. Wow, it takes a long time. Finally, we saw that this is 5 3. Hideaki is very happy to hit me. Okay, 4-6. Four, this is not a comfortable dice. I have three options uh, for my 6. But none of, it, none of them is comfortable. Okay, I chose to come up to the 18 point. 6-3 for Hideaki. Now Hideaki has two good options. One is hitting 2, another is making the 10 point. So which is better? So I thought hitting Two is clearly better. And now Hideaki is check checking. Oh, and he made a decision. Actually, two plays are very close. So, uh, so I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Okay, my two checkers uh, came in, and Hideaki rolled four two. So Hideaki must be very happy to cover the four point with a two. Then he move up his back checker to the twenty point. Then, what can I do? So white has a superior <coughs> homeboy. Double wow. two. This is a pretty good dice. This is a great dice. So what? But what, what the problem is, what can I do? Yeah, I have many <coughs> options. I can make the eleven point and four point. Also, I can make the twenty-two point, or I can make the uh, golden point, which is a twenty point. And of course, I can <coughs> hit. So what can I do? There's so many options, so many options. Yeah. Actually, my first uh, intuition was uh, hitting two. That was my preference. But still I'm thinking, uh, what should I do? So after hitting, red has the option <coughs> to make the four point. That's also possible. That's also possible. Yeah, mm. making the four point with unstacking the 6 point must be effective but mm, I'm, I, I'm not so comfortable because white has white can make the golden point or white can hit with a 4 so white must have many good numbers from the ball <coughs> of course uh, white has 4 dancing numbers so I didn't have a confidence no 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 mm. this, this is very tough for me yeah yeah, what can I do? Okay, this is my first intuition. Yeah, what can I do? Yeah, it took me a long time. Okay, yeah. So I now I found that uh, this is an error. This is an error. 
and Hideaki rolled 3 1 from the bar. He couldn't hit back. And my 1 2 is a pretty good dice. So I'm happy to make cover the 5 point and uh, making the uh, bu uh, butterfly anchor. 4 1 for him. This is not his best. Yeah, he cannot do much. Yeah, he can hit on the 2 point, but uh, of course, this is not so good. Okay. I like uh, Hideaki's choice. Double two is a fantastic dice. Yep. I'm very happy to make the golden point and the four point. Now, red is a favorite. But, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. White replied with double one. White also made a two good point. So now, who is a favorite? Four two mm. from me. Okay. Mm. So I didn't want to give him a direct shot. But XG says, interestingly, so 137 is also fine. Now 46 for white. So of course uh, white cannot move his uh, back checker. So probably pointing on is a good option or 13762 hitting loose. Yeah, Hideg is checking. Hideg is checking. Okay. Yeah, he made the right decision, of course. Now 51 for me. So I, I didn't want to come in with a, a 1. That's why I chose to come in with a 5. Now, double 4. So white cannot hit, but uh, it must be a pretty good dice. So first, white uh, come up to the 18 point. That's for sure. And then the question is, he hides a blood or uh, come up to the 14 point. He has two good options. So which is better? After hiding the blood, his structure is not so good. Now he has only one spear checker in the outfield. His position is very inflexible, and his six checkers on the two point and the four point are almost uh, killed. So hiding a blood is not a good idea. Yeah, still he's, he like is thinking, but now he's almost make the good decision. Yeah, but he does. Yeah, I don't think he makes such a big mistakes. No, 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 no. Yep. Yeah, he correctly chose to run move his back checker. Then 5 1 for me. Okay, the question is do I come up, come out on. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, it is. Uh, I need to reroll. It's a cock dice. Okay, double 1 for me. This is very easy to. Play. There's no problem at all. Then Hideaki rolls 3 5. So, of course, he can cover his 8 point. Now he had two options for, for 3. But to look at that, 4 1. How is that possible? Uh, probably White wants to keep a spear checker on the 6 point. Yeah, 4 1 is linked to the now second, but uh, it's not so good. Then 4-1 for red. This is easy. I just uh, covered my three point. And then white rose. What is this? The dice number is double ace. Okay. Because white is ahead in the race, now 14-13 is a must. Then he is arranging his checker in, hi in his homework. Okay. Then what the red roll is? 6-2. Okay, let's come out. Then, yep, I chose to 8-5. to five. Yeah, XG says 5-2-2, two, two, but uh, no one chose this play. How is that possible? Actually, uh, I, I intentionally leave a blot on the 14 point because uh, white home board is a mess. So I... I don't care to get hit. And of course, white doesn't hit me. Uh, and the benefit of this play is uh, when white rolls double two, now it gives him a problem. So white is thinking about a cube. Of course, white is ahead in the race by 21 pips. And white has a nice landing spot, uh, the bar point. So yeah, it must be a double, and uh, actually, I 
I was not so comfortable take, to take this cube because 21 is a lot and uh, he has a good landing spot, uh, the bar point. And also the score uh, support white. White is 6 away, I am 5 away, the stupid score. So I was thinking to take a pass in case white doubles. So white takes care of his uh, killed checker. He killed 5 checker on his low point, uh, which is 4 point, 3 point, 2 point, and 1 point. So finally he decided not to double. He, he didn't double. And 3-2 uh, for him. And of course he, he didn't hit. <laughs> this is obvious. Then 5-3. So I'm happy to make my 2 point with leaving the blood on the 14 point. Still, this blood must be safe and give some pressure on white. So white again, white stopped and start thinking of the cube. But uh, uh, again, white didn't double. And 4-3. This is easy to play. He just plays 13 6, of course. Now, 5 3 for me. So, first, I touched my check on the 14 point, but uh, I rethink. Yeah, because I still, White's home board is uh, poor, so it's not necessary to hide my blood. So, that's why I, I left the two blood in the outfield. Yeah, this my play is acceptable, uh, but. Uh, yeah, the best play is just uh, uh, hiding, just moving a checker from the 14 to 6. Yeah, top 3 choices are almost equal. Okay, then what's gonna happen? Now, he's ahead by 17 pips. Still, it's not big, but uh, finally, he chose to double. So in this case, yeah, if the race difference is uh, 20 pips or more, I might drop the cube. But uh, because of the 17 pips difference, uh, I decided to. I decided to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a cube. Sure. Then he rolled to. But he dies. Okay, 6 4. 6 4. So of course he never leave a shot. So he just play uh, moving his spear checker on the 8 point and 6 point. Even though he killed 1 checker on his 2 point. Then 4-1 for me. So again, uh, I wanna leave a, uh, intentionally leave a blood in the outfield. And that's why I chose 13-8. Now, but he rolls. 6-2, okay. Of course, uh, he can hit, but of course he doesn't hit. He just clears the 8 point to play safely. And then my dice is double 3. Oh! <laughs> this dice gives me lots of options. What can I do? Yeah, let's say I can come up to the 17 point. Or I can uh, remake the 14 point. Or I just play from the 14. I have many options. I have many options. It just uh, confused me. Okay. Yeah, this is one option. Covering the 14 point. Uh, in this case, my concern is that uh, he rolls double two, double one, which will be a joker. Yeah. Yeah, there are so many choices. And it's hard for me, it's hard for human to make the right decision. So what is XG's preference? Well, look at that. 2014 is the best choice. And 2017, leaving two blocks in the opponent's side is also uh, the, the best. Uh, it is ranked as... Uh, in the second, but uh, the difference is only one. So top two plays are almost equal. And the third one is also fine. So XG prefers to moving one checker from the 20 point. Yeah, it's very tough. It's very tough. Uh, uh, I don't know how to figure it out. I don't know how to find the best place. 
Wow. Yeah. Hmm. So I want to get that shot next. Yeah. So uh, if I leave my back checker on a 20 point, I will get a shot uh, uh, with 6-2. Uh, if white rolls 6-2, I will get a shot. That's the benefit uh, to leave back checker on the 20 point. But if I play uh, 20 to 17 with two checkers now, then I never get a shot next. Yeah, of course I might get a shot in the future, but uh, mm. just for next. M maybe that's the reason, yeah. Actually, I finally chose uh, 2017, moving two checkers. But maybe that's a downside that I never get the direct shot next. Maybe that's a downside. Ah, but anyway, this play is too difficult for me. Yeah. And over the board, I realized, I realized that I, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, that's what I thought over the board. Yeah, anyway, it took me a long time. Maybe more than more than a minute. Oh, about about the clock. Uh, so we have uh, two minutes per point and uh, twelve seconds uh, as a delay. Okay, yeah, this is my choice. And Hideaki wrote, "What? Double two? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Now Hideaki must face." A tough decision. Yeah, because Hideaki can hit on the on the eleven point. It's possible. But what's gonna happen after that? <laughs> yeah, my double three was very difficult. But maybe his double two is even more difficult for human. The big question is. Does he hit or not? Yeah, that's a big question. And if he doesn't hit, maybe his play is pretty easy. Yeah, just the feeling the five point. Oh, no, I'm wrong. In case he doesn't hit, feeling the five point is a wrong idea. Okay, because it's a playable six. Oh, look at that. This is a fantastic play. So he is trying not to leave any blood in his home board with hidden. But then he leaves two blood in the outfield. Threes and fi fives are duplicated. So it does not give me many shots. But yeah, making a gap on the three point feels bad. It looks much better, much better. He hits and fills a five point and covers a four point. Now he has one block in his home board on the one point. So if red rolls one, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. But if red dances, now white has a very good perspective. Very very good future. So what is the best choice for white? Yeah, again, it's very hard for humans to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, now I knew the answer. No hitting play. 7 to 1, 6 to 4. Yes, that's the best play, XG says. Yeah, it's not necessary to hit. And uh, have uh, one spear checker in, on the bar point. Yeah, that's the XG's preference. And uh, XG says this play has the highest winning chance. Uh, wow. Yeah, so over the board, I was thinking, hitting must be better. Yeah, hitting must be better. That's what I was thinking over the board. Hitting and filling the five point and covering the four point. Yeah, I thought this is the best choice. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, that's my ability. That's my ability. I'm not a superman. Uh, so... Yeah, it's very hard to resist uh, hitting. Yeah, so he made up his mind. 
Yes, he bravely hit, and what dice has come? One, two! Oh my goodness! Wow, I did it! So do I leave my anchor? I have an anchor on the 17 point. Do I leave uh, that anchor to get uh, more shot? But no, no, it's not a good idea. It just gives him many uh, jokers from the board. And white dances now. I ha we have a bot. big party, big party for red. Double six. Uh, I believe this is one of my best dice. I can come out and hit the second checker. This is fantastic. This is just fantastic. Okay, then he dances again, and I roll double three. Oh, oh, by the way, about doubling cube. Of course, this is too good. Of course, of course, this is too good. So I, I'm I'm just rolling the rolling the dice uh, for gammon. All right, he keeps dancing, and I complete the closeout. Now I have a very good perspective to win the game and to win Gammon. Okay, double two for me. So, so I have an option to opening my six point, but uh, no, to win Gammon, I want to continue my closeout. Yeah, putting a spell checker on the ace point is not a good idea, so I didn't have a confidence of this play. But at least uh, this position is totally safe. I call the situation zero position. Yeah, next. Red never leave a shot. Uh, whatever dies, he rolls. Oh, by the way, uh, so transcribing has some problems. That's why we pause the game. We pause the clock. Yeah, maybe there's some misunderstanding about Mr. Tanaka. Okay, then I roll 5-2. So again, I have two options, taking one check off or clearing the six point. So after clear, clearing the six point, I have four checkers on the one point. That's why I chose to take check off. Okay. Now, two one for me. Here, I made an error. Actually, it's a big error. White keeps dancing. And I wrote four one. Again, I don't want to put too many checkers on my ace point. That's why I take one checker off. White dances again. Then I roll 4-2. Mm. I can clear my 5 point, but uh, again and again, I didn't want to put... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, my play is... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. And then, double 4. I have no choice, and uh, it's a pretty good dice. Now what has to quite have to take care of losing bad game. 2-1. This is not my best. And I have two options. Usually we are happy to clear from the rear, but here, after we clear the three point, uh, red has three checkers on the two point. That's why I take one checker off. So finally, one checker has come. Uh, okay, take two checkers off. Now, all right. Now it's very hard for red to win backgammon. Okay, no backgammon anymore. But actually, uh, still white has a chance to save gamma. Actually, it is possible. It is possible. That's why uh, white keeps rolling the dice. Mm -hmm. oh, what I'm doing now? Okay, six two. So still it's possible for white. All right, not it's possible anymore. So white resigns, and let's go to the next game. Okay, now uh, what red got to uh, six point and got the Crawford game. White is one away. Uh, sorry, white is six away. So that's why uh, white is happy to win a gammon. So 
it, uh, this fact is important for both sides. So I need to, I want to uh, avoid uh, losing gammon, and white wants to win a gammon. All right, I started with split and down, and of course, red also chose split and down, and five three for me. Yeah, it's a good dice, <laughs> and surprisingly, white danced. Now, what dice is coming? Okay, 4 3. Yeah. So, even though white checker is on the ball, making the uh, golden point must be good. 2 1 for white. This is a tough dice. This is tough dice. So, white has, I think, three options. Yeah. One is coming with a 1 and soaked on the 4 point. Yeah, so top two plays are uh, equal. Okay. What is coming next? 6 5. Okay. I don't want to kill my checker on the 2 point. That's why I chose 2 men down. And XG likes my play. And then, white rolls 5 4. So white cannot hit. Yeah, he just covered the 4 point. Alright, then I want to cover my bar point. And 6. 6-4, yeah, the dice is 6-4, yeah, let's play 2 men down, then, nope, he have to reroll, oh, okay, this is not comfortable again, 4-2 so for white, so first, white have to split his back checker, yeah, because Red already made the advanced anchor. So against the advanced anchor, uh, White wants to make the advanced anchor as well. Yeah. So he correct. He chose the best play, of course. Double three. What a great dice! Now I filled my two gap in just one die, uh, one roll. How is that possible? And he dances. Okay. Now it's a big party for Red again. Six three. I wanted that attack on the one point, but uh, this 6-3, uh, I cannot do that. That's why I left my anchor. Yeah, I don't, I don't like white uh, makes, the, uh, makes the anchor. Okay, 5-2. So still I have a chance to attack him. So once white makes the anchor, now he can play the game until the end. 6-1 is a great dice. Okay, alright, yeah. Let's put, put two check cards on the board. Now, what? 2-1 for white. Oh my, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. All right, 3-6 is another amazing dice. Now, I put two checkers on the, on the bar again. So, do I feel my two point? Oh, one five. So, he secured the, the anchor on, the, on my one point. This is amazingly good. Now, White can play the game until the end. It's so important for white. Yeah, of course, red is a big favorite, according to XG. Yeah, white winning, uh, red winning chance is 77%. But it's far from 100%. Far from 100%. And then, white keeps dancing. 6-2 for red. Okay, let's come to the outfield. Yeah, actually, my play is not good. My play is not good. So what's wrong about that? White keeps dancing. 5-3. Now, my two back checker uh, has come to my, to my outfield. And then, oh, finally, white comes in and slot on the 5 point, of course. Okay, double two. This double two is good because uh, I want to put a spare checker on my four point. That's why four, uh, six to four is very comfortable for me. So what's next? Five three. Of course, White is happy to cover his five point. Then, all right, four two. Uh, I finished my bearing in. Now I can start my bearing off next. 5-3 for white, okay. Yeah, just making the 5, uh, 3 point is fine. 
And four three for me. I can take two checkers off, but it's not a good idea. Yeah. I want to make a mountain structure against the ace pawn game. That's a common idea. Then double three for white. Yep. Yeah, making the bar point must be fine. And uh, five one. one uh, five is forced. And one. I'm not so happy to put a spare check on the two point, but uh, I didn't have many options. 4 2 for white. Yep, he slot on the two point. And then 3 1. Okay. I can take one checker off, but uh, I'm very happy to clear my six point. Yeah. Uh, clearing the point is a very important idea against ace point game. So, yeah, red structure is good, but 6 5 is anti joker. 3 1. Okay. Oh, sorry, 3 2. 3 2. And uh, yeah, again something happened. That's why I paused that clock. Okay, the prob problem is solved. I took one checker off. Actually, two checker off, off is equally good. Six one for white, and six four five four is bad number. Three two is good. I can take two checkers off, and I can clear the five point. So which is better? Usually, clearing the point is superior, but uh, because white has no spare checker in his home board, I was uh, keeping my 5 point. I was thinking to keep my 5 point. Okay, finally, white uh, come, uh, came out and he completed a closeout. Okay, 4 3 is a good dice. Red can play safely, very comfortable. And 6 something. Oh, it's double 6. This is not good for white because he has to leave the anchor. But uh, of course, one checker is still uh, stay on my one point. Five three. Oh, finally, I gave him a shot, uh, and I have two ways. But uh, hitting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking two checkers off must be superior. Oh my goodness, three one for white. He hits me. He hits me. So how many checkers I took off? Okay, I took uh, seven checkers off. So that's why now white is a favorite. White is a favorite. Oh my goodness. Now red is the underdog. Wow. Just in a second, I became the underdog. Yeah, this is backgammon. Yeah, this is the nature of backgammon. That's why we enjoy backgammon. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. We all love this game. So what's going on for one? Yeah, he can finish bearing in. Yeah, just for the safety. No, no, no. Yeah, it must be correct. Then six two. So six is a forced. And how to play a two? How to play a two? Yeah, four to two. It's not a great idea to put a spear checker on the two point. So Hideaki correctly chose 6 to 4. And then 6 1, okay. Now I can roll a 6 from the board. I did it! I did it! Actually, now red is a favorite. Red's winning chance is 60%. Okay, what dies? 6 1. This is not great for him. 2 1. Oh, what a poor dice. Now, the winning chance is 50%. The game is 50-50. And of course, I I played the 2 to 1. Wow. The game is very close. Very close. 4 1 for me. Oh, again, poor dice. Now, white is a favorite. Now, white is a favorite. Oh my goodness. Okay, 5 4. Yes, yeah, still white is a favorite. I want to roll a big number, big doubles. Okay, double two. Actually, double two is good for me. Now, my winning chance is 52%. I was a favorite. And what is his dice? 6 3. Okay, still red is a favorite. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. I missed. Now, red is clearly the underdog. Okay, double two. So red has to roll doubles. Red has to roll doubles. 
double six, double five, double four, double three, double two also. No, double two doesn't work. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So white won the game. Uh, now we go we go to a post Crawford game. The score is a six six two for red. And now white is five away. Ooh, it, it was an exciting game. Yeah. So red started with four two. It's pretty good. I like this the opening dice. And white can double, but to Hideaki intentionally didn't double because I have no uh, free drop. So when he doubles, uh, mostly I just uh, take it. So Hideaki wants to have a, a critical, a very exciting moment. And he expects that uh, I would make a mistake. Yeah. Okay, 6 1. He correctly hit on the 5 point and bringing it down from the midpoint. 3 6 is fine. Yeah, I'm ready to hit back. Then, still hit Hideaki doesn't double. And what is his dice? 3 something. Oh, it's 3 5. Okay, let's cover the 5 point. Even though white gives me double shot. Yeah, the body of the 5 point is so high. It's the most important point in backgammon. Mm. Double three! Wow! Mm. This is my second time to roll this great dice. Wow, now I have the best possible four point board. Okay, white well, comes in with a two three. He had not many options. Yep, he, he correctly hit loose on the three point. Okay, two four. Yeah, red is very happy to come in. If he dances, it was horrible. Yeah, I was thinking to how to play a 4. Yeah, I just uh, hide my block on the 8 point. Now, white has many good options. Hitting, covering. And Hideaki is thinking about the cube. Yeah, he, he might lose the market. Yeah, that's what he is thinking. But does he lose the market? Let's say 6-4 is a great number. Hitting and covering the 3 point. Oh, anyway, 4-2, all right. All he can do is hitting on the bar point. Then, what's gonna happen if red dances? What's gonna happen? Oh, 1-6, this is great dice. This is great dice. But the problem is, which blot uh, do I uh, hit? Yeah, it's, it's not an easy uh, decision for me. Yeah, which dice I want to hit? Yeah. Yeah, I was afraid that uh, he covers the bar point. That's why I hit on the 18 point. All right. So six uh, for white. So of course he hits me again. And then what? I danced. I danced. Now maybe it's, it's a great time to offer a cube. Yeah. Anyway, this is a, this is an easy take for red. But uh, okay. Uh, because it's an easy take, he didn't double. Alright, 4 2. Yeah, of course, uh, oh, but actually, quite has two options. One is covering the three point, another is covering the bar point. So, uh, does, does white want to make a prime? Yeah, actually, now, prime phase it. Uh, this is not a bad game anymore. So just covering the free point is superior and it's not necessary to leave a midpoint. Okay. Finally he doubled. And of course it's an easy easy take for red. Double free for white. White white wanted to come out his back checker. That's why he wanted to roll any sixes and fives, but he cannot do that. Here XG says switching. How is that possible? Uh, this is amazing. And my dice roll is, is also amazing. Double one is, yeah, it's one of my best dice. It's so good. And he dances. Okay, now I want to make my bar point. 
to, st uh, to stop him. Okay, that's why I chose two men down from the midpoint. And he keeps dancing. And then, oh, 6 5. So I have many options. I can hit, I can come out, I can make my bar point. I think this 6 is the must to make the bar point. Yeah, I really want to make my bar point. Okay. Uh, but make uh, XG likes hitting. Uh, probably four prime is just wrong. Uh, my double four might be uh, anti joker. Six three. Yeah, I don't want to hit him, but uh, I think I have to come out. Yeah, then double four will be anti joker. Yes. Yes. I don't want to hit him, but uh, otherwise I might ruin my homeboard. Okay, so red down phase and double three. Okay, uh, finally I complete a full prime. Yeah, but uh, I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, af uh, afraid of my remaining back checker. Okay, six four. So I'm very happy to come out without hitting. Yeah, I don't want to hit him. And oh, finally he came in with a two. Then what is my dice roll? Six one. Okay, nothing special. Now White is ruining his home board. Oh, double two. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Yeah. White did not roll such a bad dice. Yeah, white wanted to roll a two, uh, sorry, six. Yeah, because he does not need to play a six. But double two is a pretty bad. So he has, yeah, many options. Yeah, this play is uh, very, yeah, tempting. Looks good. Now, white kills his fives, fours. White does not need to play these dice. Yeah, it looks good. But, amazing, surprisingly, XG dislikes that play. Wow, why it's so bad? Why it's so bad? Yeah, this play is tough. This play is tough for Hideaki and uh, tough for me. Yeah, uh, I would play 6-4, 5-3 which is ranked to number 5 and it's an uh, error by 46 yeah of course I want to keep my 5 point but uh, yeah so maybe next red might open he uh, uh, break his full prime so next 6-5 six, 6-4 six, yeah red red will yeah, break his full prime. And 5-4. Yeah, and of course big doubles. Uh, double 5, double 4, double 3. Okay. Hideak chose that play. And double 1 for me. Now, I'm s I start thinking a trapping play. So of course red can keep a full prime. But, how about opening the bar point? Then, if white rolls a 6, white have to lose his one, lose his anchor on my 1 point. Yeah, that's my thought process. Hmm. Yeah. So which is better? Actually, yeah, we already uh, knew what XG says. So XG says, just uh, yeah, so opening the bar point is a good idea. A trapping play is fine. But XG says, leave a bullet on the bar point, on the seven point. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. Especially uh, when white rolls a five and play 23-18, then red is happy to get hit because it ruins his timing. 
Yeah, so far, white, does, white timing is pretty bad. bad. But look at that. Uh, XG says, white winning chance is like uh, uh, 13, 14 percent. But still, white has a good uh, perspective. Okay, then 5 3. So, first, white is happy to come out. Then, how to play a 3? So, as we discussed, white does not want to hit me. And that's why Hideo is thinking to play 4 2 1. And XG says, this is much, much superior. His play has 1.7% higher winning chance. Yeah, his play is fantastic. And 6 1 for me. Now I have an option to hit. So, what is the benefit? Mm. What is the benefit of hitting? Actually, I thought hitting has some benefit, but uh, I was totally wrong. It's just wrong. Yeah, it's not necessary to hit him. Hitting uh, makes white happier. Okay, wow, that was a bad play. And white dances. And I'm gonna finish my bearing in. Yeah, 6 4 must be good because I want to clear my uh, 6 point. Okay, he dances again. And 6 2 for me. It's almost forced. Yeah, this is only play to play uh, safely. And then, white keeps dancing. And red rolls 4 3. Oh, it's a good dice. Yeah. I can take two checkers off without leaving any blood. And then, 1 6. Okay, finally, he came out. Then, 3 2. Oh, it's a wonderful dice. I'm very happy to clear my 6 point. Yeah, clearing the point is, is a key for me. And 5 1 for white. Okay. Yeah, he correctly covered his two points. 6 1. Still, uh, red can play safely. Yeah. So, 1 2 bug game is the strongest bug game. If uh, bug game side has a good timing. Okay, 6 5 for white. Now, red has many bad numbers. 4 3. Oh, again, it's good. Yeah, red can safely. It took two checkers off. 2 1 for white. So, the key, the question is does white cover the one point or not? Actually, <laughs> I'm not good at this position. And Hideaki told me that uh, uh, Lila will be upset if uh, Hideaki covers one point. And actually, Lila is correct. Yeah, cover, XG yeah. dislike covering the one point. Of, uh, yeah. mm. Lila is the expert of uh, a bug game. Oh, again, 4 is a good dice. Still, Red does not leave any blood. This is uh, amazing. Now, White slot on the 6 point, and finally, finally, yeah, he covers the 1 point. Okay, I have many bad dice. Wow, 2-1 wow, is, so it's far, great dice. Now I case. cleared my 5 point. Wow. Okay. Double 2. What a bad dice. It's a horrible anti-joker. Then, yeah, again, I have so many bad dice. Yeah, maybe threes are good. And actually, wow. I rolled Still. threes. Yeah, Still, I never leave a shot. How is that possible against against the one two bug game? Wow, double one is also bad for white. Then, wow. double one? <laughs> that was an excellent dice. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't expect. <laughs> How lucky Red is. 3-2 wow. in the interesting dice. Now, okay, of course, let half, uh, White have to leave one of his anchor, but uh, yeah, leaving two anchor is an option. Yeah. Uh, in that case, Red uh, will leave a blood with any ones and, or, uh, and with any twos. Actually, I would not 
choose this play. But uh, anyway, still three, okay. Still, but wow. next red has many horrible numbers. Six three for white. Love now what's gonna <laughs> happen? Yeah, what's gonna happen? What dice comes? Wow. Double five? What? Thank you very much. How is that possible? <laughs> so, red never leave a block against one to back game until the end of the game. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscri subscribe to my channel and leave any comments. I wish you good luck and good dice. Bye for now.